Hello everyone and welcome back to Humble Heart Horsemanship. My name is Sabrina and in today's video you guys are joining me on making a goat pen inside our barn here for our two new baby goats. In about five days we are picking up our baby goats and so this pen needs to be ready as soon as possible for the little cuties that are going to come in. As you probably guessed I'm going to be making this pen out of pallets. So all together I have five pallets kind of all scattered around. I'm also going to be using a drill, a 2x4, an electric saw, and of course some long screws. I've been so inspired by many YouTube creators and also many posts I've seen on Pinterest where people use pallets for small livestock fencing and pens and I've been doing a lot of research so I'm really excited to get to building this. So the pen is going to be situated right behind me here in this space over here and what the plan is for now is that the baby goats are going to be um, staying inside the pen at night. They're going to be brought in and they're going to sleep in the pen overnight for safety reasons because we have a lot of predators outside. And um, they'll also stay inside the pen especially if the weather is really bad like it gets here in the winter. And in the daytime they're going to get turned out with the horses uh, in the dry lot or also in another small livestock pen that the previous owners had built over there. So that's kind of the plan for now, but I need to get busy building this because we only have a few days until they're going to come. And it's a really, really windy day today and our barn rattles because it's made out of metal and makes a lot of noises. So this video is not going to include a lot of me talking and explaining what I'm doing, but I am definitely going to be showing you the whole creation process. So. I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. So the first thing that I did is I took all the pallets and I aligned them exactly where I want them to be for the built of this pen. And um, now that they're all in alignment where they're supposed to be and the measurements are correct, our next step is to screw the first pallet into the wall. I've decided to call in backup, which is my mother, because she knows far more about building things than I do. She's gonna come in and give me a hand. In the meantime, though, we're having chicken cuddles before she arrives. Yeah, we're gonna have some cuddle time. Hello. 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 I think I hear mom. She's coming down to help us. Moment of the hour. Oh, you also have an Amazon package for this me. Away, so. Oh, thank you. Mom's here to help me make sure I'm doing things right. So we're gonna pre, we already know this is a stud right here because these two screws, you can hear it. Yep. So it's not. See, this is deeper. That's hollow. That's hollow. So you wanna put this into a stud okay. right there. And so what we're going to do is we're going to either line this up the way you want it here, or we can put it further out. Uh, I would I keep it in. I think it's better to keep it in so you have more support. Okay, mm -hmm. so then what you do is you're just basically going to go where you know the stud is, pre-drill a hole. Okay, I'm going to put two in, I think. Yeah. So now we're gonna go ahead and do something so we can make the screw go further in. Mm -hmm. The screws that you have are like this. They're exterior wood screws. So they're only gonna go in like this far, right? Yeah. The wood's right here. It's only gonna go in this far. Yep. We want it in further than that, right? Mm -hmm. Is that a, oh, that's steel. Oh, I wonder if it will go in further. That's steel. 
Okay, so so we discovered that there's a metal bar right here for the window. There's a metal window frame behind this thin piece of board. So that's not a stud, okay? We could still do it. We could still use a, a special kind of drill bit to go through the metal if you want. What are we doing, Ma? We're gonna continue to screw a hole all the way through the wall right here because there's uh -huh. a metal, the metal frame. Yep. We have to go through it so we can... You're pre-drilling a hole, that way it's easier to get it looks like pretty the screw thick. in there. It looks like a pretty big hole. Oh, looks good. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Take a little bigger drill bit that matches the head of the nail right here. Because we're going to do some pre-setting in. That's about, no, not quite, maybe this one. Because we're going to want to pre-set where this can drop into the board further, mm -hmm. and I'll show you. Awesome. I'm going to just go into that. Right there, and just go over. I'm only gonna go in a little bit, okay? So what that does is it gives a, a place for the screw to go in further. Nice! I'm gonna take the screw, and it's gonna go straight in there. I mean, there you go. Nice. So totally spot on. What are you doing now? Uh, well, you said this is concrete, and it's not. It's just it's clay soil, so you just have to get it banged up a little bit to level it out. Now we can level it out. Leveling it out so when we screw these two pallets together, it'll be level, it'll be even, it'll look nice. I'm not sure where... So it's level now. So what's the next step? We just have to pre-drill. Well, we just have to pre-drill a hole through these. Screw these together. Okay. Make sure that they're level and there's a shimmy underneath the bottom of that if we need one. Okay. Goats. Should we just be putting a screw through the top, or should we also do it at the bottom since they're goats and they like to climb? Well, you have to go in here and then hopefully midway, but I don't think the drill will fit in there unless you have a smaller drill. Here. Okay. Sounds good. point something that I should have thought of was that especially with goats you want to make sure that there's no nails sticking out no rusty nails that you uh, pound them in with a hammer right yep. or, or just you know make sure that bend them sideways or something. yeah something like that lay it on the floor it doesn't have to be level up here right it just has to be I think I'll just put one nail one screw in there okay put two but I feel like this doesn't really one might be good maybe I'll just put one right here how many holes slash uh, screws do you recommend they put in for these pallets? Uh, I just recommend two at the bottom and two on top, maybe one in the middle, just to brace it. Okay. Because they're going to push on it all the time. You got two up here and then two down there. Yeah. It's kind of basically had to reinforce this and that together. So I put a board down there and attached it so it would be nice and solid. And then nice. I put a two by four piece right here. Nice. It's an old one from the barn so it's got some stuff. You can use something to hook on that. Uh -huh. and just it up. And then now I'm gonna put a two by four against here so that if they push out on the wall, it won't move. That's so smart. I love that. Reinforcing yeah. it, making it goat proof. Yes. <laughs> You guys, so this goat pen is pretty much done. We're gonna add like one minor thing on, which is just this wooden board to brace it. Give us the idea behind why you're gonna add this last addition. Because I thought it would be great instead of making a hinge door out of that one, you could put sliders on this and attach them to that and make a slider door. Because this right here, this last pallet on the corner is gonna be the gate is what I thought about doing. With slider, basically just hook it on, you buy the bracket and you put it on there and you slide it across. Ta-da! 
it's gonna be a lot easier and it will save space when I open the gate too. And this here, you can just, it's gonna support that. We're gonna get another one that goes along here so this can be supported. Oh, I love that. So a brace up top, brace at the bottom. But you guys, this pen is pretty much done. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much to my wonderful mama. She's a boss lady working it over here. She did such a beautiful job. You did too. You did a great job watching. I did. I, I had the des So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy building a in barn goat pen out of pallets with us, make sure that you scroll down, hit that like button, and subscribe for more videos like this. And what? And share. And share. You guys share the good ideas. I like like I said earlier, I got my inspiration from so many amazing YouTube creators and Pinterest posts that this was just so fun and such a cost effective. Cheap cheap easy way to build a goat pen and so many people use these pallets for like fencing ideas and little huts for their goats and other animals so definitely check those out if you're interested and we'll see you in the next one bye